Bashir's, Bashir wrote to him, he's a nice Muslim man. He said, please, Brother Tex, stop this Islam and Muslim bashing. I love Tex dearly despite his shortcomings. But as soon as he starts ranting about his Jesus God, he goes crazy. <laughs> Bashir, this Muslim, writes me that. It is sad that Brother Tex would resort to outright lies about Islam. Well, I don't resort to outright lies. No, that's not true. He goes on to say that actually, Islam does accept Jesus as Christ. In our Quran, we call him the Messiah. That's the Messiah. He is revered as the son of Mary by Islam, but not as the son of God. We believe in Islam that that is blasphemy. Bashir, therein lies the problem. I was explaining about the precious lady before that said that the Muslims and the Christians worship the same God. Not so. Our God is Jesus Christ. Islam says he's not the Son of God. In fact, Islam actually says that is blasphemy. See the difference? What I say is true, you, Bashir, say is blasphemy. And you know, Bashir, let me tell you something. I'm going to keep ranting about Jesus Christ. I like ranting about Jesus Christ. But anyway, he goes on to say some other things, and I, I like what he says. There's a lot of things that Bashir says to me that aren't true, and I appreciate them, that, you know. He goes on to say, Jews and Christians and Muslims are people of the same divine book. No, we're not. We have the New Testament, okay? Now, it may be that you, as a Muslim, believe in the Old Testament, although I understand there's some differences you have with it. The Jews say they believe in the Old Testament, and we believe as Christians in the Old Testament. But hold on, we have the New Covenant, Jesus Christ. We have the New Testament, and the Muslims say, no, that's not a true book. The Jews say, oh, I hate that book, the New Testament. Hmm. Looks like we don't have the same divine book then, Bashir. And that's just the way it is. And by the way, a lot of people say, if Texas, if you had your way in America, would you make it a crime to teach the Islamic religion? No. No. Isn't it interesting? There's nothing in the New Testament that says, go out and make it a criminal act to preach other religions. Nothing. Nothing. Even Jesus didn't try to shut down all the false religions. But hold on. He told the truth. And he said that these works of the devil are destructive. And he came to set the captives free. And someday all will bow their knees to Jesus Christ. That's what it says in the Bible, our New Testament. Well, there's some news that came out 